Hey everybody, welcome back to I Bought the Popcorn. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, welcome. My name is Stephanie. Today we're going to be doing a review on the art of racing in the rain. Let's go ahead and get on with the review. The Art of Racing in the Rain, it is rated PG. Um, it is considered a drama comedy. It is two hours and three minutes long. It's set to release August the 9th, directed by Simon Curtis. It, of course, stars uh, Milo Ventimiglia, Amanda Seyfried, and Kevin Costner as the voice of Enzo the dog. Okay, so even though this movie is two hours long, unlike Hobbs and Shaw, I did not feel the two hours in this movie. Sadly, I do have to say it's probably not my favorite canine film. It really is a nice movie overall, but it didn't quite really do it for me. Like, unlike A Dog's Journey, I absolutely love that movie. I don't know if it's just because I didn't cry. <laughs> I know you're probably like, what? I honestly, I'm a crier. I've said it multiple times on here that I cry in, in films and TV shows. I honestly went into this movie thinking I'm going to be like bawling out. I took a bunch of tissues. I was prepared. The moment that I saw the trailer, I'm like, yep, you're gonna make me cry. I need to be prepared. Okay, I think that was just too much light coming in. I felt that I looked too bright. So hopefully that's better. <laughs> so the movie is from the point of view of Enzo the dog. Um, So we do go throughout many years in the movie. We do, you know, fast forward a lot. But it is done in a really nice way and it's not like rushed. We do see from when Denny picks up Enzo, which we see in the trailer, to you know when he meets the girl, marries the girl, his acceptance towards Eve because you know ultimately Eve is kind of taking a part of uh, Denny's heart. You no, know, of course, you know, we fast forward, you know, she's pregnant and we see that in the trailer and he's just like in awe of how a human can carry this other human being there from day one and absolutely is in love and all with the child. So the only like spoiler that I'm going to give and I'm not gonna give much detail into it but I just thought it was like so cute and I really loved it and it is Enzo's obsession with the evil zebra and uh, that's just where I'm gonna leave it with that. I really just wanted to mention that in my review. The voice of Enzo which is done by Kevin Costner. I thought it was pretty funny that they didn't give him like a little kid voice when he was a puppy. I mean, he straight up had this man, Kevin Costner voice from day one. Kind of almost felt like somebody else would have been better than him. I really can't, I really don't know who at this moment. Maybe like Tom Hanks would have been nice. Cause he is very like a chill dog, you know? So I feel like him, or Morgan Freeman, I mean Morgan Freeman can like voice over the heck out of anything and make it sound very interesting. And I think actually, you know what, Morgan Freeman might have been like a little bit, feel like a better choice. You know, don't get me wrong, I, I am a fan of Kevin Costner, but I don't know, like I wasn't too fond of him as the voice of Enzo. You know when, you're, when you see a movie and there's a voiceover in there, you really shouldn't be able to tell the two apart. They should just be one. And in this case, I could honestly tell them apart. Like, I don't feel like they were just one in character. It was really like, there's this dog and Kevin Costner is the voice of it. Unlike A Dog's Journey where Josh Gad, I and you know, the multiple carrot dogs that he is in the film, like in each individual dog, like they're one. I was never like, oh, there's a dog and here's Josh Gass just voicing over them. If that makes sense. I don't know if I'm really making sense there. I know what I'm trying to say. Hopefully <laughs> you know me by now as best as you can know me. And for my little mind when I kind of take off and ramble. Hopefully you can kind of put the pieces on where I'm trying to go with it. <laughs> Ultimately the movie is basically about Enzo being there for Denny and helping him out as best as he's able to while he's trying to balance out his own life of being a father, being a husband, and also uh, trying to balance out the, his career choice of being a race car driver because this is his passion, this is what he's good at. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and end this because I literally just gave a spoiler. I'm obviously editing that out, but let me go ahead and wrap this up. Do I recommend this movie? It's good, but I don't think it's worth your buck at the theater. So I would recommend for you to wait till it comes on like Netflix, Redbox it, stream it online, buy the DVD because it is a good movie. I just don't think it's worth 
going and wasting money at the theater just make it like a family night at home so i am being a little bit rebellious and putting up this review um before thursday because i believe that's when they said the embargo is supposed to be lifted since technically i'm not press that does not correspond to me i don't think it does and this is as rebellious as i'm gonna get because there's not a rebellion bone in my body let me know in the comment section below if you are looking forward to watching this movie and if you do go and watch it come back let me know what your thoughts were but before you leave don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new and until next time i'll be seeing you at concessions bye